everybody. What's up? Okay, today we're working on the Bronco. And what are we doing with the Bronco? Well, it's going to be a little bit interesting. Let's have a look. You're going to notice something now when I open the tailgate. We have the Mabbit interior light right here. And that's a three-way light. If I can get up front, far enough up front with the, uh, the actually touch switch on it. Beautiful light. Absolutely gorgeous. And three times, four times better than the OEM. And up front, you're going to see four lights. Well, those are interior lights from a, another company that they're going to come down. And I'm going to show you what we're going to replace them with. So this is what I'm going with. Uh, this is a new lighting system uh, by Mabbit, and uh, it's a unique system. What makes this unique, I'll tell you about in a second. The system that I have in it now, uh, the four lights that you see in it now, they're operated via a source wire that goes to a wire up by the left driver's foot, and you have to splice it into a specific wire to command those lights to come on. With this system, oh yes, and also, if you're in the dark, in the middle of the night, and you want to turn those lights on, you either have to have another separate switch for those lights, and you need to, uh, or you have to open up the door. <laughs> uh, so it just didn't seem like the perfect setup. This setup, however, this works off the Linbus system, or the Linbus network. And what that is, it's integrated into the vehicle's wiring by plug and play. We're gonna be taking out the rear light that you saw at the beginning of the video, the Mabbit light, and we're gonna unplug it. And we're gonna plug this in between the, the, that light, and we're gonna run this harness up the left and the right side of the vehicle we're going to attach these to the airbag covers just above them. And um, there's no more wiring than that. It's just all plug and play. And how does it work? Well, the Linbus system manages it. So now when I want to turn on the light, if I'm in the dark in the vehicle, all I have to do is put my hand up and push on the light, the, the switch for the map light, and they will all come on. So it's just, it's just super cool. It's the way Ford should have done it. So I'm going to get in. I'm going to start removing some stuff. Then I'll come back and show you exactly what I got done. So whatever I, uh, whenever I'm installing anything like this, I always recommend, where possible, to uh, test before you install. So that's what we're doing. As you can see, the light is pulled down. The harness is plugged into the middle, and the rest of the stuff is below. And there you go. So now we know it works. Just to show you how the harness goes. Pretty simple, eh? So now all we have to do is start removing some plastic and run the wire. Okay, folks, before we continue, a little tech tip. When you get your harness, just check the harness and make sure that it looks similar to this. But you'll notice down here, this harness is different. Now, believe it or not, there for a while, I thought I might have had the wrong harness. But my wife, Kathy, the brains in the family, she happened to notice, hey, this is reversed. So what you do is you take this off here and you plug it on down here. Let's see here now. Okay. Now your harnesses are exactly the same on the ends. So don't be fooled like I got fooled. Okay, another little tip for you before we go too much further is the long ones will go to the, towards the back seat. In the, in the rear, short ones will go up front. But 
there is a left and a right to the lights, okay? So this one, say, for instance, would be the one on the driver's side because uh, you can see the grill is down below. Whereas if I put it, put this one, the lights would be pointing up to the ceiling. So driver side, this is gonna be passenger side. So keep that in mind. Okay, yet another tip, lots of tips. So when you start to take off the top pieces going along your, your roof panel, you don't need to remove any panels off your roof or anything like that. Um, what you can do is start from back and work your way, well in this case here, this would be the back because this is the passenger side. You start from the back and you work your way up front. So basically these are only gonna be the two panels you're probably gonna to have to really remove. The reason why I say start from the back because the back overlaps the front right here. Now, if you're ever wondering where these lights go, well, your pigtail is only so long, so just line them up with the two screws and you got one that goes there and one that goes there. But keep in mind, these wires can be pinched quite easily when you push this back on. So what I did in the past is I ran my original wire, my original lights through here because I just took a little notching tool or a Dremel and just Dremeled it out. And it, it saves the wire from being pinched. Now I'll probably end up doing another one there because you're not gonna see it anyway. And that way it'll be a cleaner install, a safer install and a no trouble install. Okay, folks, you take out the clip, which is this one right here, if it'll focus, and you pull this down. It's only on clips. And then over there in the corner, if I can get the focus, see that pink? That's the side airbag. So you're going to run one side out through that side of your harness and one side out through the other side right there. And then you're going to go all up along your, your rails on each side, your airbags. Okay, guys, here's how it's going to look. It's inside. It's going above the airbag. And by, and under no circumstances, should you use zip ties to tie that onto the airbag for obvious reasons. If that airbag deploys or needs to deploy, you don't want anything hindering it. So that's how it should look, okay? Okay, guys, it's all hooked up. I know you can't see them, but I got a reason for that. Let's turn on the light for the, for the map or the dome light. It's on and they're all on. Turn it off. They all go off. Okay, might as well say it's done. Let's have a look. Show you what it's like from the inside. I'll tell you one thing I found about it. Um, they're a warmer light. They're not, uh, you don't get the same glare as the older one or as the old ones that I took out. You know, combine those cab lights, inner cab lights, interior lights with the Mabbit light here. I'm telling you folks, it's fantastic. It's, uh, it's the way it should have been. I highly doubt you'll ever be able to improve on a system as good as this. I mean, hey, just reach up and turn on your map light and they all come on fantastic open up any door on it they all come on fantastic so i don't know when these are going to be available but uh mabbit has a page on amazon so i'll put the link there so keep an eye out and uh, hopefully you can get yourself a set because i have a sneaky suspicion these are going to be a real big seller so anyway, i hope you find this uh, video useful and i hope uh, the tricks that I showed you along the way will be helpful, and I know you're gonna love these lights. So thanks for watching, we'll see you the next time.